minus 90 seconds and counting. All systems are good. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. We were wanderers from the beginning. We were bounded only by the earth and the ocean and the sky. We were hunters and foragers, wanderers on the savannas and the steppes. When the drought was prolonged, or when an unsettling chill lingered in the summer air, our group moved on, sometimes to unknown lands. We sought a better place. We invest far off places with a certain romance. The appeal, I suspect, has been meticulously crafted by natural selection as an essential element in our survival. Long before Columbus, Indonesian Argonauts in outrigger canoes explored the Western Pacific. People from Borneo settled Madagascar. Egyptians and Libyans circumnavigated Africa. And a great fleet of ocean-going junks from Ming Dynasty China crisscrossed the Indian Ocean, established a base in Zanzibar, rounded the Cape of Good Hope, and entered the Atlantic Ocean. Then, as now, technology was the key to our survival. The frontier was everywhere. We could always begin again. This zest to explore and exploit, however thoughtless its agents may have been, has clear survival value. It is not restricted to any one nation or ethnic group. It is an endowment that all members of the human species hold in common. We've meandered our way around the planet. There are now people on every continent and the remotest islands, from pole to pole, from Mount Everest to the Dead Sea, on the ocean bottoms, and even, occasionally, in residence 200 miles up. Humans, like the gods of old, living in the sky. These days, there seems to be nowhere left to explore, at least on the land area of the Earth. Victims of their very success, the open road still softly calls, like a nearly forgotten song of childhood. itch for things remote. I love to sail forbidden seas. <laughs> 